hi everyone in this video we are going to be looking at equation on further integration an equation with given that i of n is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the n times the square root of 1 minus x squared dx a show that i of n plus 2 is equal to n plus 1 on n plus 4 i of n and b hence evaluate i 2 so the equation was proposed to me by the Whitson who is um, a student at St. Michael's Academy of Arts and Sciences in Bamenda. So for those who want to propose questions to me, you can follow the email address that has been displayed to your screen. Alright, so let's begin with the first part of the problem which is asking us to show that i of n plus 2 is equal to n plus 1 divided by n plus 4 times i of n. So our i of n was given as this integral, so we are going to do a little bit of um, integration by substitution. So I will take x to be equal to sine of theta, it means that the x is equal to the cosine of theta to theta. Now I'm going to change my bounds, x begins from 0 to 1, it means theta will begin from 0 to pi on 2 because sine inverse of 0 and sine inverse of 1. So my integral becomes the integral from 0 to pi on 2 of x is sine of theta so i raise it to the power n the square root of 1 minus x squared sine squared theta times the x which is cos theta d theta so from there i get i n to be integral from 0 to pi on 2 of sine to the n theta the 1 minus sine squared theta is cos squared theta but the square root is cos theta because we are in this interval it is positive times this cos theta gives us cos squared theta so from there we can rewrite cos squared theta as 1 minus sine squared theta now we can um, um, expand and we have sine to the n theta times 1 we have this minus sine to the n theta times sine squared we have this now if I post one of these integrals to be um, j of n it simply means that j of n will be equal to this integral definitely this other one is going to be j of n plus 2 so I'm going to integrate this by parts. So I will first of all write it in this form so that I will let u to be sine to the n of theta and I will differentiate it to get n minus 1 cosine of theta sine to the n minus 2 of theta d theta. Now my dv is going to be the sine of theta d theta. Integrating to look for v, I get negative the cosine of theta. Next, now um, my g of n is uv minus the integral of v du as per the integration by part formula so i have u times v there is a negative sign there i put my limits of integration then minus the integral the minus sign here makes it to be positive so i have n minus one because du has n minus one times cos, cos squared theta d theta then times this quantity because this times this times this this times give, this gives us cos squared theta then times this quantity so from there we get g of n to be this is going to give us zero when we, when we feed the upper and lower limits and then we have this whole block but cos squared theta is the same as one minus sine squared theta so from there i get n minus one times now i'm going to distribute this sine to the n minus two theta inside i'm going to get times one i'm going to get it integrating will simply give me jn minus two because this is jn and um, imputing uh, multiplying it with this i just get sine to the n of theta and which is um, g of n but it has a n minus one multiplying it and with a negative sign so from there i can add this on both sides of the equation because on the left hand side i get g of n so g of n will be equal to n minus one over n times g of n minus two all right from there i can look for g of n plus two which will give me n plus one divided by n plus two times g of n now since i of n is equal to this it means it is just j of n minus j of n plus 2 that was why i was finding j of n plus 2 here now from there i have j of n minus since i have j of n plus 2 in terms of in terms of j of n i just replace here and i factor out j of n and i get this simplifying i get i of n to be j of n divided by n plus 2 now i will need to express j of n in terms of i of n but what is j of n or um i of n plus 2 because that is in our proof is equal to j of n plus 2 divided by n plus 4 when i replace n here with n plus 2 so we can look for j of n this is it our j of n um yes it is from here exactly 
So since this one gives us 0, then our g of n is simply equal to this quantity. So you can look for g of n plus 2 by replacing n with n plus 2 and we get this. But this quantity in red is simply our i of n. This is it here. So it means that our g of n plus 2 is n plus 1 times i of n. So in the place of um, in the place of g of n plus 2 here, I'm going to put n plus 1 times i of n and that's it. Our proof comes out. i of n plus 2 is equal to n plus 1 divided by n plus 4 times i of n. Now, the second part of the equation is asking us to find i2 and it is hence, meaning we use the information here. So if we see for n equal to 0, we can easily find i2. i2 will just be 1 quarter i0. Now we need to find i0. i0, I just fit n to be 0 here. I get x to the 0 which is 1 and I integrate from 0 to 1 of the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Now if I let this function here to be y, I can square both sides and I get this. Now this is a circle, we can draw it in the xy plane. But finding this integral, we are simply integrating from 0 to 1 of this portion. So it is simply this area here which is a quarter circle. And we know how to find the area of a quarter circle. Pi radius squared because the radius of the circle is 1 divided by 4. So that is our i0 is simply pi divided by 4. So from there we have our i2 to be equal to um, actually pi divided by 16, not pi squared. So sorry for that error. So let me just erase. So it is actually pi divided by 16. So pi to the power 1 divided by 16.